I don't like making New Year resolutions because every time I make them, I fail at them and they make me feel like a failure every single year. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of people who are benefiting from it and I sincerely applaud them, but it didn't work for me. Am I doing something wrong? That's a question from Neelish. Hey there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. A very, very, very happy 2019 to all of you. New Year is full of excitement, isn't it? Everybody's celebrating, everybody's excited. People who have never been in touch with you the entire year surface up on a new year and send you warm wishes. So many messages, so many quotes, so many good wishes for you and so much of positivity and excitement all around you. I'm excited too because to me every year means change of my calendar and my planner inserts and setting up a new processes and all that all that jazz because I am a planner junkie if you didn't know that already. To me I'm not just excited about it every year but I'm also excited every month every single week because I get to start on a clean slate. However to me, New Year has never been about resolutions because like you, Nilesh, I have said them and failed at them for several years. Then I realized that the issue is not with the resolutions per se. It's the way we set them. I want to lose weight this year. I want to be more positive. I want to spend more time with my family. I want to quit my current job. I want to travel more. I want to stop procrastinating. I want to quit smoking. I want to reduce screen time. Such resolutions will not work because they are something that we call as global statements. Albert Einstein said, insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. So if you want to set resolutions or better yet, create goals that work for you, here are my three tips because these are something that really work for me. Tip number one is to create objectives first. Do you know where your goals came from? Why are they important to you? Why do you want to achieve them? What are your objectives in life? Figuring this out is crucial for you to set your resolutions or goals for yourself. If you don't know what you want, how will you get it? It's as simple as that. Too often our goals are influenced by others. But what we really need is to introspect, to look inside and see what matters the most to us and then set our objectives. I use a tool called the Life Wheel a couple of years ago and that has helped me set my life's objectives. And those objectives help me create my intentions, my goals and my action plan for the year, for the month and even for the week. My first video was created on the life wheel and how it can really help you set your objectives in life. So check it out if you haven't done it already. The second tip is to do something motivational every single day. Because motivation is not a permanent feeling, it's not sustainable and like exercise, you need to have it daily. Because what's positive for you today need not be positive tomorrow, right? At least that's how it works for me. So I discovered the best way, in fact the cheapest and most effective way is to begin your day with a positive motivational quote. So for a long time I had this small desktop calendar which has quotes written on it and you peel away every single day and get your quote right. So I had that on my desk for several years until I discovered Pinterest. Now I can create uh, boards and you know collection of my favorite quotes, my favorite motivational quotes on Pinterest and that is my go-to for my motivation. Now all this is possible because I know what works for me. Now if you don't know what works for you, you just have to figure out whether it's a quote, whether it is an affirmation, whether it's a video, what works for you, store it in a, at a place where you can go to every single day before you begin your day and start your day with something positive, something motivational so that you have enough energy, enough dopamine in your body to surge ahead and uh, meet whatever goal that you set for yourself. My third tip to you is to treat each day as new. Because there's no point in hanging on to something that has been passed, right? You wanted to do something yesterday and you couldn't do it for whatever reasons there's no point in hanging on to it and feeling like a failure so it's best that you let yesterday go and treat today as as if it's new as if it's fresh and start today you can always start today on a positive note i will quote a popular zen saying here 
It says, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift and that is why it's called present. So there you go. Those are my three tips that help me keep up with my goals. And like I said before, I do not have any resolutions set every year, but I do have life goals and every year I make some changes to it so I can accelerate those goals forward. Leading a fulfilling life isn't about making some half-hearted decisions that don't mean anything to you. Instead, I urge you to make choices on what really matters to you and commit yourself to it completely. Do you have any other tip to make your resolutions work, to make your goals work? Do let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll, I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me.